all right everybody welcome back to the quarry this is part two and let's get on with the story hello my friend welcome to the show we are friends aren't we i've waited for you i've waited yes so i do hope our time together proves enlightening there's no need to worry i'm here to help you think of me as your guide into the unknown it's exciting yes and terrifying but if you're brave enough if you let me help you mm -hmm. i can help you oh we okay. can help each other you didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. Okay. Okay. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover. On which I can shed light if you let me. Mm -hmm. Help me help you. Let me help you get them into some remember, sunlight because you need it. Kill you, we'll make you let me help you get out of this creepy room you're in into some sun. Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> Did you see her? Damn. Chapter 1, Hackett's Quarry Forever. Mm, 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 mm. I like this upbeat music. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a Brenda romance song. apocalypse. Okay, cynical. They'll go. They'll get over it. Reflective. You never know. I honestly don't even know what she said. What did she say? Let's just go with reflective. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Not my girl Brenda saw cussing, okay. Hi Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is um You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Alright, this must be before Max and that other chick. Or it could be after. I have no idea, like, the, the timeline we're in right now. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Let's tell me here. Good to know. Bro, I was not trying to talk to him. <laughs> Bro, waved him off with the thumbs up.
Yeah. But that's like basic human knowledge 101. If somebody has earphones in, they're <laughs> not to be disturbed. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's. Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what happens if I try to do it again? Open the fuck up! Dipshits bolted it? Really? Damn, they really not trying to carry bags. Boy, they bolted that door just to avoid carrying bags. <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs> they locked me out. Who? Who do you think? Ugh, we'll find another way in. Use your big boy brain. Hmm. It'd be so much easier if I could like jog or do a little fast walk. Established nineteen fifty three. place like this. It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Hmm. It is nice. Nice scenery. Too bad it's kind of end up, uh, you know, as a trauma, as a trauma location for these people. Kill. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Well, you're about to live the most horrific event in your whole entire life, guy. What is Ooh. I got a tarot card. Tarot. Tarot card. Bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Please don't do that again. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were- Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. 
Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Hmm. S s I feel like I want to say sexy. Or I knew it. Let's say I knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her What's whole up thing with this story? is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Jacob. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? It's just a fling, bro. Oh, Calm down. I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being wow. buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. This is very, very, very specific. That oh, probably shit, happened to her parents. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let yeah. me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? She isn't buying it. Buying what? Be. What was I selling? One more night in the great outdoors might What was I trying to prove to her? Hey, Ted. If it doesn't kill you, it will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Or take okay, out the battery. What does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm Just... that's all rotary. <laughs> Disconnect you know, the like battery, bro. With the leads poking <laughs> you don't gotta... Jake, Break a rotary arm. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Mm -mm, this man is mischievous. Break fuel line, steel ro- Wow. Wow, we're really gonna do this right now? There's no third option to just <laughs> not do this? Break fuel line, steal rotary arm. Well, I feel like if you steal something, it's easier to replace than if it was broken. So we'll just go with this. Yo, he's crazy though. He's gonna mess up the only means of transportation for one more night with the chick. That's that's crazy. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 oh, Nick. Oh, I, bro, I did not press right. I pressed Come up. Come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's messed up, bro. I hit it. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh, not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. Nah, you know 50. what, whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean? Where is everybody else? Why, why would I know that? 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes you. Where is that dude listening to the headphones? Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Abigail. I'm gonna need some action soon though, cause <laughs> I'm getting put to sleep right now, boy. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Oh, why is everything locked around here, bro? Aren't y'all like counselors or something? Break in. I feel like if we break in, something later is gonna be able to get in. Oh. But we we need our bags. There might be important things in there, so we'll break in. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! That's cool. I saw that big rock right there. Aw. This was little Izzy's. Mm -mm, that's creepy, bro. Put that thing back. Leave that, bro. Leave that. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing else in here. Let's leave. What's that one shape? Hmm. Let's go over here. It's over here. Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Hmm, okay, so summer camp's over. But duh. Was something in the window just now? <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention, but I think there's something. There was something there. I need to be able to run, man. Oh, 
there she is. Let's go meet up with her. Ready to roll? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's this place is boring. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. What? You should try it sometime. You never know. <laughs> what? Nah. No. That made no sense, bro. It's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. <gasps> nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Okay, this is the girl. Then why'd you put it? That Summer Jacob's Flame. talking about. We're going Summer to school Flame. like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. Okay, now who's Nick? Nick? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? Girl, if you email, um, really uh, yo, she needs to be the first one to die, boy. <laughs> She's contacting oh, people on. through email, bro. Oh, uh, but <laughs> the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route. One last victory lap around the camp. Yeah, uh, back to lodge, scenic, or the scenic route. Man, fuck it. Yeah, Fine. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Yeah, how could they live without you? Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? You know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be like really happy or rock. <laughs> Man, what kind of I scenic route is this, boy? The fire it's just... Two the tents island. out here. Maps oh. included, right? <laughs> Never mind. Yo, is that smoke though? Is is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, uh, it looks pretty contained. It's no, yes. Mr. H burning some stuff before. Oh, definitely tell somebody. Uh, close this camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably yeah you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried next yeah. Gonna leave it at you? Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> now, nah, what's up with that fire, though? That might be a call for help. Man, look, somebody passed out. That was a call for help, definitely. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <laughs> it's okay. Yo. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. 
Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh. care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Nick. No, that's not Nate. Jacob. Cool. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't be simp. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... What the hell? Thank you. You're gonna let him get your bag, but you can't let Jacob get his girl's bag? Man, that's shady. <laughs> Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Damn, what deep ass voice. There? I'm here. A little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Hmm. Should we go friendly? Is it about me? Mind your own business? Why is this guy gonna talk, say something? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. Really it's so like a what? Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh, a butt? <laughs> no, it's a... It's a... Paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, <laughs> would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um... There's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Mm. There are like reports of whispers. <laughs> Silas. Or whatever. And, and this we remember that, man. that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or... Something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. <laughs> supportive. You should have seen the kids defensive better than yours. Support. We'll be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They're <laughs> scarred for life. I mean, not for life you gotta be careful with this stuff man this shit's true Come on, dude bullshit what's the hold up hacketeers hey, hey, who's I, I, this I, man I Mr. H. drop to it get those butts in gear <laughs> okay sorry Mr. H you had to liberate some luggage shut up Mr. H is David maybe Arquette. if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies ball as ghost stories you asked ghost stories the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why? Why can't I charge my phone? What? Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flippin' bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. 
five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you the van, okay? Uh, that's kind of messed up, dude. What if I need that for, like, navigation or something? <laughs> so, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. What? Nah, something's off with this dude, Hello? man. He's not letting me charge my phone. He's taking secret phone calls. What? <laughs> I don't trust him. Yeah, eavesdrop. What? Because kids are kids. Don't need to be so much of those. They're almost out of here, alright? You're cutting it pretty close. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a-okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Hmm? Yeah, of course. Adios. Move, bro. You hear him coming to the door. Sorry, I, I wasn't. What an idiot. I, I wasn't listening. God damn. I, I was just like waiting. Like, I mean, I heard. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Just shut up. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway. You were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus. Oh, you know, he does not I'm care, not exactly bro. Around. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Yep. And so, I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? This is important to me. I don't care about his life story, so we're gonna go with this. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, uh... What, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get for parents? Letter after letter of these terrified kids that they send home. Hmm. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Just be apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. Buster? You're part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? Why is he calling by his first name? Safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Before the sun goes down. Okay, he knows something. Yeah, why? 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 It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Hmm? Just give me a minute. Good goddamn, are they? 
Oh my god, can we hurry up with this? Like, hurry up and find the keys already. Jesus. Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Let's skedaddle. They were right there this whole time. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You shouldn't have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Well, we took the rotary Ooh, arm, so it ain't going to start. And we ain't going nowhere. Unless Jacob fesses up. What's the problem? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, dude, come on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Okay, Damn bro's it. getting hostile, bro. Bro's getting aggressive. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Man, just tell him if you know something's up. Ah! Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Okay, I figured it out. I don't have to press circle. It's just a joystick. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay, yeah, he knows what goes on, on okay. around here. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I mean, these are grown, you know, I mean, these are grown individuals. I mean, I could try, yeah. Yeah. Can't stop them, sure. but. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! And keep the noise down. <sighs> okay. I don't know why he just didn't tell them what he knows about so, the place. What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. 
We could go inside until See? morning. Yeah. See? Or mm -hmm. Or we could gonna, do something else. They gonna cut up, bro. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Okay, y'all gonna find out. A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. It does sound convincing, oh, though. Dude. <laughs> Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Uh, I probably yeah, would have folded. Dylan's in. I would have folded, bro, big time. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Okay, the only level-headed people are this dude and that chick, right? That chick with the red head. He was just concerned for us. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. I should have right, said yeah. he was freaked no, out, already. though. Mean... Damn. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. I'm gonna be staring. I'm sorry. You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. <laughs> He's getting bored of Ryan. No, 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 dude, we get it, all right? <laughs> you don't want to disappoint daddy. Whatever, bro. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. It's gonna be so chill, bro. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. Stores? And, How? Uh, Dylan, you just, what stores, know, bro? Charge the phone <laughs> for something. All right, let's do this. All right, y'all, that's going to uh, conclude part two. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hopefully, in part three, it'll be more interesting, more action-packed. Um, so, y'all be on the lookout for part three, and until next time.